who will boot faster? Let's find out. Obviously, it's good and I don't care about the updates. Windows 8.1 saves all laptops. Many say that Windows 8.1 is no longer relevant because it doesn't get updates. And I totally disagree with this. I will explain. First of all, unlike Windows 7 and Windows XP, Windows 8.1 can be downloaded from the Microsoft official website without any problem, which makes it more convenient and reliable. I don't know what magic was used when they created Windows 8.1, but it's about something incredible. After all, an old laptop with an HDD drive on Windows 8.1 boots much faster than a new one with M2 drive and Windows 11. That's magic. If you don't believe me, I recommend clicking on this video. It's quite similar test. Windows 8.1 versus Windows 10, HDD drive versus SSD drive. And believe me, the result will be unexpected. Updates, updates, updates. Are they really so important when you install not the latest version of Windows on and not the most modern laptop on the earth? I don't think so. The fact is that Windows 8.1, although it's old, has already fixed most bugs and errors that could appear over the years. And the newer updates probably will not fix the problems on Windows 8.1. Let's get it clear. Installing Windows 8.1 makes sense if you want to install it on an old laptop or PC. Yep, in that case, it will speed up your old potato. To make this video more interesting, I will compare Windows 8.1 and Atlas OS. And then you will be able to see how Windows 8.1 is fast even in 2023. First of all, I will test this operating system in VirtualBox and then I will do speed test on Lenovo L430 laptop. I mean, which one will boot faster? Today, I will find out. It has HDD drive, 8GB of RAM and Intel Core i3 processor of third generation. And you know, that makes sense, because Windows 8.1 and Atlas OS will probably help to improve speed on such a potato. So. Let's get it started. If you take a close look, you may see the similar specs, 4 GB of RAM, 4 cores. Accidentally, I allocated only 50 GB of space for Atlas OS and 80 GB for Windows 8.1, but completely to be honest, it doesn't make any difference. So guys, we are in the Atlas OS, I'm running it in VirtualBox, and first of all, I will click on the search icon and check Task Manager. Task Manager? Click on it. Let's check how much space does it takes. I mean RAM. Click on the performance, open it in full screen to make it more convenient. And as you can see, it used 1.2 gigabyte of RAM. Yes, I know I installed some application, but never mind because we will do the same process in Windows 8.1, so it will be quite similar and fair result. One more time, as you can see, Atlas OS used by default 1.2 GB of RAM in VirtualBox. And that's not bad, not bad at all, because original Windows 10 and 11 probably may use 3 to 4 GB of RAM. And let's click on the processes. As you can see, we have 16 background processes. And if we scroll down a little bit, we have 31 processes. Now we can close this window. Of course, let's check how much space Atlas OS takes. I will click on the properties. As you can see, it takes almost 18 gigabytes of space. Yep, of course, I installed AIDA, CPU-Z and downloaded Signbench R15, but all of these programs take only less than 1 gigabyte of space. In AIDA64, I will bench CPU Queen benchmark. Click on CPU Queen and let's get it started. I will click on start. As a final result, we get 27,383 points. Also, I want to mention that I'm using screen recording program. Okay, as you can see, we have over 27,000 points in CPU Queen. And let's proceed to the next test, CPU Z. We are in CPU Z. Now we need to click on Bench. And right now we will see how much it score in multi core and on a single core in Atlas OS. Click on Bench CPU. Now we just need to wait a few minutes. 
As a final result, we get 1375 points on the multi core and 374 points on the single core. Now we can close this window and proceed to the last test for today, Signbench R15. As you can see, this is the older version R15 because R23 doesn't work stable in Windows 8.1, so I thought it will be fair enough to download and install R15. Click on it. Signbench R15, quite popular software. It uses all cores and all threads of processor 100%. In my case, I allocated only 4 cores. To get started, we need to click here on Run. We successfully run the benchmark, Signbench R15, you may see 4 cores and 4 threads, now we just need to wait until the process will complete. In Signbench R15, Intel Core i5 processor scored 372 points in Atlas OS. Please try to remember this number because we will repeat the similar test in Windows 8.1. Now we are in Windows 8.1 and first that I want to notice that it looks very good and it feels very fast. And the first that we're going to do is to check how much space does it takes. I will click on the right mouse button, select properties and look at that, it takes only 10 gigabytes of space. That's hilarious, if you have SD card with 16 gigabyte, you can easily install Windows 8.1 without any problem. That's impressive. And of course, let's check Task Manager. I will click here, click on the search icon, Task Manager, open it in full screen to make it more convenient. Click on the performance, it uses less than 1 GB of RAM. If you want to run Google Chrome browser or use it for Office, it will be suitable for many people. Now we can click on the processes and look at that, it uses only 5 background processes and 20 Windows processes. I want to remind you, Atlas OS used 16 background processes and about 31 Windows processes. So that's impressive. Windows 8.1 is still a beast. Let's run some application. AIDA64 will be perfect. Let's get it started. Click on benchmark, find CPU Queen and click on start. Surprisingly, in AIDA64, it scored 31,950 points. That's just crazy, because in Atlas OS we get about 27,000 points, and here we get almost 32,000 points. As you can see, Windows 8.1 just destroyed Atlas OS, and I'm not joking. Let's proceed to the next test, CPU Z. One more time, we see the similar specs 4 cores, 4 threads. Click on Bench and let's run the test. I'm not surprised anymore because Windows 8.1 is just fast beast. As you can see, it scored 1479 points in the multi core and listen, 423 points on a single core. I want to remind you that in Atlas OS, in multi core, result was about 1300 points and 373 points in a single core. So, let's get it started. Click on Run. I want to remind you Atlas OS scored 372 points. So yep, Windows 8.1 beat Atlas OS without any problem in all tests. My friends, let me know in the comments what do you think about this. People downloading and installing this operating system to improve and increase speed of the potatoes. For all the computers, for all the devices, Windows 8.1 will work perfectly. And it's even not a custom Windows. Yes, you will not longer get the latest updates. Because it's unsupported. And let's be honest, Windows 10 will also lose support soon. In 2025. But how do you think? Will people stop using Windows 10 because it will become unsupported? I don't think so. And finally, last test for today. Who will boot faster? Let's find out. I want to remind you that for this test I used an HDD drive. In this situation, Windows 8.1 took less time than Atlas OS to boot. And overall, Windows 8.1 is the winner.
So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it. And if you want to know which operating system is the fastest, I recommend to click here on this video.